Dr. Neil Shaw talking about shock loss. So shock loss is what happens is when your natural normal hairs fall out during a hair transplantation. This can occur from several reasons. First of all, if the surgeon uses too much anesthesia, so if it occurs over too long of a period of time, the lidocaine marking and sometimes actually the epinephrine can actually prevent the hair from getting enough nourishment. This happens in the donor side area of the head. Um, other things that can cause shock loss include you can damage the hairs when you're actually extracting them. And when you're trying to remove each individual hair, you can actually be damaging the other hairs. Another factor that can contribute to this is actually when you um, place the hairs, you can actually damage the hairs in this area. Um, you can actually transect them. So how do we avoid shock loss? So first of all, from the anesthesia standpoint, you have to be quick enough to harvest the hairs and not try to do this over a long period of time. If you're trying to do 8,000 grafts in one day, one of the issues is you could encounter a shock loss. Um, the 9X robot, I like FUE, is great in the fact that it can harvest hairs between 1,000 to 1,500 grafts per hour. This minimizes our anesthesia time, makes patients more comfortable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, other things you can do is increase the nourishment in your um, recipient bed. Uh, this includes um, adding growth factors, also adding Propecia and Rogaine, and this helps nourish your hairs so that they're less likely to suffer from shock loss. Finally, when you're um, placing the hairs, the 9X robot actually has uh, special visualization techniques where it can actually individually tell which hairs in the direction of your hair so you don't damage it when you're actually placing each individual hair, which makes your treatment safer. Hopefully that's helpful information for you, and hopefully shock loss, um, although they're rare, less than 5%, um, most of these patients um, do have their hair come back. About 99% of these patients have it come back. It's just more of a traumatic um, thing to, for patients to undergo.